Hey there, do-it-yourself technicians. Today, I want to talk to you about updating the Apple Watch. I have an older Apple Watch 3 that the family bought me for my birthday last year. As a first real smartwatch, I didn't want to go over the top and spend a heap of money. So we bought the base model. At the time, the 5 was out, and it turns out the 6 was just around the corner. But Apple was still selling the Apple Watch 3 at a fairly reasonable $350 for the GPS only model. The problem with this specific model is that it only has 8 gig of storage. Once you install the watch OS, you're left with fairly limited space for apps, songs, photos, podcasts, whatever else you're going to store on it. This never bothers me. I never run out of space. I don't use a lot of those things. I don't put music on my watch. But it does become a problem when I go to do an update. As part of the update process, it needs to download the new version on there while the old version's still there before it can do the switchover. And yes, that takes a lot of space. 8 gig is not quite enough. My watch came with watchOS 6.2.8, and just a few weeks after I got it, iOS 15 came out for the iPhone, and along with it came watchOS 7. It was a major update, and I was really excited to install it. What I wasn't excited about was the process that I had to go through in the end to do it. Even after I stripped off everything that I'd put on the watch, all the apps, everything, there still wasn't enough space to install the update. I thought I was doomed. But then I did a bit of research and found some articles explaining that many people were having the problem and there was a solution, but it was painful. You have to back up the watch, unpair it from the phone, wiping it clean, then install the update, and then restore your backup back to the watch. A process that was time consuming and fiddly, and I'm pretty sure I mucked it up at least twice. But as I said, I wasn't the only one feeling it. Lots of sites were coming out with various tips, tricks, and ideas to get around the problem. But most of them boiled down to back it up, wipe it, set it up as a new watch, update it, and then restore the backup. This week, I updated my phone to iOS 15, and then my watch said, oh, you've got an update to watchOS 8. And no, you can't do it. There's not enough space. I cried a little inside and prepared myself for the upgrade process. And in the process, I decided to capture and document everything that happened so that I could have a good long whinge to you here about how bad the process was. And then it just worked. I mean, the process did take a very long time to download everything to the phone, then transfer it to the watch, verify it, and install it. And by a long time, I mean a really long time. Because I was stopping and taking screenshots all the time, it felt even longer. If I just put the watch and the phone away and let them do it, it probably wouldn't have been quite so bad. The thing is, I was waiting for it to say, nope, you can't do it, again. And at that point, I knew I'd have to start over but it didn't happen that way. It was working away for ages on the phone, downloading the update from Apple and then uploading it back to the phone. Then at one stage, I looked down at the watch on my desk and <gasps> it had rebooted. It's worth noting that the scratches that you can see on the screen of my watch here are actually on a screen protector. I really recommend a screen protector for the Apple Watch. They work really well. You can buy them quite cheaply up here on eBay. Then all of a sudden it was sitting there and it looked like it was doing the update. It took quite a while to tick around these few ticks. And then it was 40 minutes later that I took this photo halfway round. And then I ignored it and just kept doing what I was doing. And all of a sudden I looked down 40 odd minutes later and it's just sitting there on the normal charge screen. I double checked and woohoo, it had updated. WatchOS 8.0.1. Amazing. The whole process had taken close to three and a half hours, but it was done without any real involvement from me. I'm not sure what Apple have done. Maybe they put some sort of routine in there that cleans the watch up better first. Or maybe it transparently does a backup, wipes it, upgrades the watch OS, and then restores your backup. That would explain the length of time it took. But whatever it is they've done, I'm really grateful. And I'm doubly grateful because it's a three or four year old product and Apple's not usually that good at supporting older devices. 
they prefer you bought a new one. I do suspect now that it's running the newer version that the watch is processing just a little bit slower, but then it's got a bit more functionality. So that's a trade-off that I kind of expect. It's certainly still perfectly workable. I also suspect that this will be the last version of watchOS that will work with the Apple Watch Series 3. In a year's time, I'll be stuck with this same version or a slightly updated version. By then, Apple will probably be releasing the eighth generation of Apple Watch, and it may actually be time for me to get a new one. Question of the day, do you have a smartwatch? Do you keep it updated to the latest version of its software? Let me know in the comments down below. And if this video was useful, give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much. The Tech Doctor exists to help you become your own technician. Learn about the technology, protect yourself from the bad guys, and fix it when it breaks. If you're watching this on YouTube, there's some older videos you may not have seen before, here and here. And you can subscribe to the channel by clicking down here, or to our mailing list by clicking up here. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you on the next episode. Bye.